What was your reaction when you heard this terrible tragedy that happened in Orlando yesterday? Well, it's horrible. I mean, you, as a county executive, you deal with a lot of nasty things, and there's things I've had to deal with that I hoped I never had to, but I've never had to deal with that, and no one should have to go through that to have 49 lives shattered. 49 families destroyed, an individual who's so full with rage, whether it was based off of Islamic hatred or just hatred against the LGBTQ community. Uh, that's why you see hundreds of people gathered here today to say we will not tolerate that. We will not tolerate uh, the, the hatred of the LGBTQ community. We will not tolerate the, the misappropriation of what really is Islam, uh, where there are no, there are many representatives of the local Muslim community who say that this gentleman does not represent the views of Islam, and that we as a community, we as a country, we must do better. When tragedies like this happen, the community really looks to leaders like yourself for a strong message to signal where things are going um, and to signal some hope. What will you be saying to this group of people who have gathered here tonight? Well, I'm certainly going to commiserate with the losses, uh, but I'm also going to say that our thoughts and prayers aren't enough. Fannie Lou Hamer, the, the civil rights pioneer, used to say, I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. And there's a lot of us that are sick and tired of reading about these mass casualty killings that could be stopped. Uh, so I'm going to be talking a little bit what we need to do as a, a community, as a country. If an individual is on a no-fly list, they should also be on a no-buy list. They should not have access to these type of weapons. These type of weapons used to be banned. In 1984, they were banned under the Assault Weapons Act, which unfortunately expired in 2004. And now you can buy weapons today that previously were illegal. Some of these, maybe not all of them, but some of these mass casualty killings could have been prevented if these individuals were prevented from buying these weapons. We must and can do better as a country because we should not live in a country where every year we're reading about 25 or now 50 individuals who are dying at the hands of another individual. Uh, we need to rally around uh, the LGBT community. We need to support our Islamic community and realize that we as a, a country can do better.